Hello friends, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to fix Ipsen printer maintenance is not showing error in Windows 10 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process and it's work on the any Ipsen printer in any Windows operating system. Windows 10, 7, 8, 8.1, 8 it's work on the Windows all operating systems. So let's go to our video. First, we see the our problem, then solve that problem. First, go to the start and type control panel. Click on the control panel. In control panel, find devices and printers. Click on devices and printers. In devices and printers, find your printer that has a problem. In this case, my Ipsen printer has a problem. I go to the my Ipsen printer, right click on it. And here we find printer preferences. Click on the printer preferences. Minimize it. In a printer preferences, here we find our maintenance tab is not showing. This is the, our problem and we are going to solve this problem. First, I close this. After that, I want to download the latest drivers for the our Ipsen printer. That is very easy and simple. Go to the any web browser. I am going to the my Google Chrome. In Google Chrome, type Ipsen printer driver type Ipsen printer driver and hit enter key on our keyboard first link is from the Ipsen open the first link it is from the Ipsen open the first link scroll down and here we find search by product name click at here and type your printer model number or the full name of the your printer I type my printer model number in this case my printer name is Ipsen L365 I type that printer name you can type your printer name and after that, here we find one link, your printer driver link, click at here. Whenever you click on that link, it's redirect to another page. I click at here and it's redirect me to the another page. Here we find my Ipsen and the my printer model number or the printer name. Scroll down and it is automatically detect your operating system. If your operating system is Windows 10, then go to the Windows 10 32-bit. If your operating system is Windows 10 64-bit, then go to the Windows 10 64-bit. If you not find your operating system is 32 bit and 64 bit or 64 bit, then it is very easy to find that. Minimize it. Go to the this PC, right click on this PC, click on the properties. In properties, in system type, if you find 64 bit, that means that machine is 64 bit operating system machine. If system type is 32 bit, that means that machine is 32 bit operating system machine. This machine is 64 bit operating system machine. Close it. Go to the web browser once again. My machine is 64 bit, so I select 64 bit. If your machine is 32 bit, then select 32 bit. Same thing with the Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. Click at here. And if it's not detected, then it show a go button. Click on go. It, this page goes to the refresh or re, uh, re refresh. And after that, we find the new driver. Scroll down. And here we find drivers. Click on this drivers button at the top bottom. Scroll down to bottom and bottom we find drivers. Expand drivers. In drivers we find our printer driver. Click on this printer driver. Click on download. It's redirect you to the another page. Click on the accept. And our download is started. It's take few minutes or few seconds depending on the speed of your internet and the file size. I go to the downloads. Click on the show in a folder. Minimize it. Drag this setup file to desktop, close it. Here is the, our setup file, and this setup file is the our printer setup file, Ipsen printer setup file. Double click on it or right click on it and run as an administrator. Click on the yes. Installation is started. Here we find our all Ipsen printer. In my case, I have only one printer on my PC. Ipsen only one printer. If you multiple Ipsen printer, then it show a multiple Ipsen printers. In this case, I select Ipsen L365. Select your printer from that list. Select that. Click on the OK. Click on the OK. Wait for a few seconds. Click on I agree. Select agree. Click on OK. Wait for a few seconds. If it's not select your drivers manually, then go there. No USB connection. I want to connect with the USB. I don't want to with the network connection. I go with the USB connection. Click on OK. If it's not detect your port automatically, then go for the manual. I go for the manual and I select my pre port, USB port and click on the OK. Wait for a few seconds. Click on the OK. Our printer part is done. Now check our printer is properly done or not. Go to the start and type 
control panel click on the control panel in a control panel go to the devices and printers click on devices and printers here we find Ipson go to your printer name right click on it click on the right click on it and go to the printer preferences and here we find our printer preferences our maintenance here we find our maintenance click on the maintenance and it's showing me mere maintenance of the our Ipson printer so guys this is the simplest way to fix Ipson printer maintenance is not showing error in any windows pc windows 10 windows 7 8 8.1 so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys